The camera pulled over ahead and notified the officer, but the driver had already been gone at this point. After the officer looked at the footage, he presumed it was either a distraction or drinking. It's a miracle the camera made it out of this alive. Her car was totaled, as you can see. She wanted me to remind you all to always make sure you have sufficient tire tread and to always make sure you wear your seatbelt. The camera says he learned his lesson. A one second distraction can change a lot. The camera slammed into the rock, totaling his vehicle. Thankfully, there were absolutely no injuries. The driver claimed that he didn't see the semi in front of him, but in reality was most likely distracted as the camera said he was frantically looking for his phone when he stopped to check up on him. The turning driver failed to yield to the blue Toyota driver, resulting in this head-on collision. JR from SNJ's Variety YouTube channel caught this crash. It's believed that the Lincoln driver passed out and left her lane of travel. The Nissan driver swerved and then rolled. Both drivers were reversing at the same time, though the white sedan driver backed up first. The camera stopped and provided footage to both drivers and then they went on their own ways. The oblivious driver stopped in the middle of the road to proceed through a cut through. Had the camera not been alert, a T-bone collision would have definitely occurred. The camera sent in the footage to the company and they said that they would talk with the driver and fix his mistake. It seems as though the driver must have been texting or distracted by something resulting in him plowing into multiple cones. The damages seem pretty significant. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Do you think this was potentially insurance fraud or just oblivious driving? The driver ahead tries very hard to get the camera to hit him and then does the exact same thing a few cars ahead to another car. The driver came up to the right and squeezed in, sideswiping the camera. Despite the intoxicated friend saying, go, 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 the camera did pull over to the side. 
remembering the nightmarish pictures I had imagined long ago. The driver failed to pay attention to the wood planks on the road and drove over them, causing them to be flung onto the camera's vehicle, chipping her windshield. The Prius driver forced his way into the next lane, sideswiping the Lexus, who didn't attempt to prevent a collision whatsoever. I'd argue that the Prius driver would be at fault. Do you agree or disagree? The camera was cut off by this oblivious driver, and after honking at that driver, the driver makes some weird hand gestures for no apparent reason. Thanks to dashcam footage, the camera was able to find out who clipped his vehicle. It turned out it was the fire truck belonging to the fire station down the street. The damages were minimal and were taken care of. My sister was like, uh, it's Paul Newman in line 3, and I thought this is the greatest thing that has ever happened. This clip is a great example as to why one must always ensure they have sufficient tire tread and properly inflated tires. A blowout can potentially be very dangerous. The pickup truck driver did a hit and run pit maneuver to the camera causing over $10,000 in damages. As the song suggests, this is definitely a dumb way to die, but thankfully the oblivious pedestrian manages to make it unharmed. <laughs> 